at another episode of Having No Opinions Up. I literally have just finished like one of my big assignments. Um, it was a 2,000 word essay and I wrote 5,000 words. Yeah, I write a lot. Um, it's just because it's one of those ones that there's no way you could write 2,000. You have to write at least a bit more. Um, regardless, I've done quite a bit to the system already. Um, I haven't actually done any bit off camera really. Um, you will notice one thing. I'm going to go through how to build this with you from scratch, so don't write. Um, you one thing you'll notice is look, there's a black box. Yes, there's a black box, and you may think that's it, easy, but look at what we can do. Yep, you can drag around it on the main map. Yep, I know. Isn't that freaking cool? It's freaking amazing. I just love this so much. It's just such a good system. It's a bit laggy, but you can click normally, and there's no lag whatsoever. But if you do start to drag around, there's a bit of lag. Um, and what we do there is if we're detecting that you're dragging, then we would um, probably do some kind of different equation. But obviously you can push that. And um, our cube has gone off the world. So that is something to notice. Um, it is something to do with the terrain. It's a bit wonky. That's fine. Um, we can always build our own little areas. Whew, I turn on the fan and I realize how cold it is, but I'll cope. Okay, so this is the scripts. I'll be going through this in a second. I am like super hyped because like I'm just super tired and stuff, but I don't know, something's kicked in and I'm really excited to do more videos. Regardless. So, um I'm gonna be talking about saying a few changes I'm changed. I did maybe change actually I didn't change the GUI hub. Did I? No I didn't. I just made it slightly bigger maybe. I may have changed something. I did change this, but I'll talk about it later. Now I don't think I changed much, but just check that yours looked like something like this. So you got like an image for your map, um, which is only to detect when you're in now, and just for the sprite, if the map isn't there, then you get like a white sprite, just for debugging. Um, oh, I did make sure that this is interactable, meaning that um, you, uh, you're going to make sure, um, so what you do is you click add component canvas group, like uh, what we have, and this sh it should come up like this. You want to make sure that you click off block raycasts, because now, because the problem with it is now when I click, I can click here. What happens is my character goes to that spot. So if I click here, it will go to it. But what's really happening is it's not really a problem here because that's going to be a place of saying that will block away casts. Um, but what was a problem? See, th these things don't. But if I, these things won't block away casts. These things, and my character project does, but I guess I can always make that so it doesn't. But what was really happening is I couldn't click here. Like, because this was still part of the um, GUI hub. Because if we look here, uh, it may be hard to see. Yeah, we'll kind of go on it. Yeah, here you go. You can see this kind of decently. What you can see here is if I turn on this mode, you can see how there's this border right here. Yeah, so I mean, if you're clicking in this section here, it would count it as you were clicking in um, in this, and it wouldn't allow you to. It wouldn't detect a click. Or it would, but like it wouldn't move your character to that position because it would go, oh, you're being blocked. So by making sure that we're saying that you can't block raycasts, it's good. And you can also interact with it just because you should be able to. Whew. Um, other than that, everything's fine. Great. Uh, yes, it's, it's just go. Um, so, another thing. Um, if you haven't set up the, you, I'm pretty sure I've yeah, set up everything. Also, um, some people were having problems with this thing. If you don't have this, uh, this thing, uh, it is in the, um, I think it's in the second or third episode. Uh, check the episode that I've actually built this system. The first episode that I built it and the second episode both will have the um, prefab for it if you don't have it or I'm also building a series on how to build a prefab like this since it's a little bit more complex this prefab and took me a good solid hour to build but don't worry I'll build it really quickly for you guys so we're going to go through over the scripts I haven't made any changes to the scripts so don't worry in that case and then after we go over the scripts we're gonna finish this episode so we want to start off by making a plane it's pretty easy you right click you go 3d object plane and we will make this F3. And so these essentially what you want to do is I moved mine to um, 101, 291, 42. Right? Pretty simple. Okay, you also uh, want to make it 11, 11, 11 because you want to make it big enough to fit on your screen. Don't worry, it will scale with your screen if. Um, actually, it won't scale with your screen, I believe. Actually, we can test this. So we're looking at it now. Um, turn off minimize. Go again. 
she it does seem to kind of scale with your skin screen. That's kind of cool. It's like now I'm just I can't. Yeah, it does seem to kind of scale with your screen really enough. Okay, it must. Um, it must be because the mini map scale is so much scale. So what you want to do is um, I will actually delete this now because we don't need it. Yeah, but I can't keep this. I'm just going to copy and paste this because I'm lazy. Um, then we will delete it. So essentially, we want to make it. Um, this is where I liked it, which it doesn't really matter because as soon as you spawn, it's it's just going to stay there. But um, I believe it doesn't even transfer into the player. But that's fine. Uh, start, but you can change that. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to add a component um, called. Well, obviously, you can add the script. It is essentially called minimap, I believe. Minimap camera radius. Yes, this is it. And essentially, it's going to want a bunch of variables, which I will put in here. And what you've got to make sure is you've got to make sure you set the layer mask to train, um, which means it will only. Um, I know it seems weird, but what happens is, as you see here, what we do is we send through a. a um, Ready for minimap viewpoint to hit everything but the ground. So it means that since we're sending out ray class, we gotta kind of have one so we can say just hit the ground. Because we really only want to hit the ground when we um, click on the minimap. Just saying that's only for clicking. Um, that's not for moving around. So the lay mouse allows us to click on our minimap and do the same. Uh, so the map holder, I will just go with a few things. So our minimap camera is literally just our minimap camera. Our main camera is literally our main main view camera. Um, a map holder is essentially the variable that you're going to be moving. So you don't really want to move your camera, you want to instead move your your hat holder, which will move it left and right. Now this script is a little weird, but I did get, I did go off the internet. Um I can't remember what I got off. I just Googled how do you do this and I got something and um it worked pretty well. It I kind of tweaked it a little bit. I moved some of the obsoletes and stuff like that. Um but I will warn you that that things can happen because I don't fully know how it works and stuff because I don't normally do a lot of ray casting so that stuff is normally quite difficult and then what we want to do is we're going to go to materials and see this default material no no we don't want to use this we want to use our own material um I already made one which is called map outline so I'll show you where to do this so we go materials no nope, we don't we go <laughs> images UI um Okay, so um checking that that's working. Um so this will be in the description if you want it. Um, you will have to make sure when you put it in, it, I don't know if it's going to be full texture, but you got to make sure you do a few things. you got to make sure you set it to texture, or it is texture, and you got to make sure, say, alpha is transparency. Because if I don't, transparency. If I don't, see, you get this weird thing. If I make it grayscale, you get nothing. But you got to make it transparency, so you just get the alpha gone. Now, if you do UI sprite, it does it automatically, but since we're not doing a UI sprite, we got to do this. Uh, Trinary is okay, I guess. You could do that. That's all your preference. Um, says, oh, that's WebGL. I was like, why is that? Um, and then we create a new, um, essentially just create a new, um, what do you want to call it? I can't even remember. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> Stupid. You create a new material, and this is my new material. And you gotta make sure it's normally gonna be on diffuse. You go unlit, transparent color, which means it's always uh, essentially. Now it's kind of hard to explain what unlit is, but unlit doesn't mean it's unlit. It means it doesn't uh, accept light. So light um, it ignores it. So normally you get this like nice shading. So if I look at my map here. You can see that, see how this thing is kind of quite shaded, and if we go to these like um, corners over here. Oh, wait, what? I can't click on this. That's weird. Oh, I know why. <laughs> um, this should all work. Damn it, I must have stuffed something up. Um, image. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, you you got to drag uh, this in. I'll show you how this is. Uh, mass centered and mass centered. So, I'll explain what that is in a second. So, essentially, if I click on my map here, 
you can see that if I got to the top, you can see this like kind of shading kind of thing. There's not a lot of shading going on because this is just basic shaders, so there's actually no um, shadows. But you can definitely see this light difference. But unlit means there's no light difference. Most likely, we're not going to really touch that shading, but that's essentially it. Um, so unlit means it doesn't accept light and it'll always be lit. And then we go and make sure uh, transparent. I believe does the same thing too. I don't know what the difference. I don't think there's actually any difference between unlit and cutout. Uh, but I'm just going to do transparent, I guess. Doesn't really matter. Since essentially you just want transparent, it doesn't really matter. You need transparent so you can see through it. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. And then you got that stuff. Oh, you gotta make sure you remove the collider because if you don't, your character will collapse. And it's just, just, just remove the collider, please. <laughs> um. I've also mucked up this cute character thing. I'm gonna fix that one day. Um. <laughs> I just realized that. Okay, so let's go into the scripts because I've been blabbering on and haven't shown you the scripts. Here is the script. So we have obviously I've already explained what the cameras are. So we have the mini map. This is just basically gonna we're gonna use this to say where you where you've clicked on the mini map to where it is in the real life world. The main main camera. Um, do we actually use the main camera? Yes, we use the main camera to determine the camera center. Yes. Okay. Um. And to find the current world position, yes, yes, I know that. And the map holder is um, essentially, it's not really a map holder, it's more like camera holder, but like it's the object that we're going to move the camera using. The layer mask, which is what um, layer we're going to um, use, so with the ground, or in our case, we're using terrain. So make sure um, you set that to only, so you want first press nothing because it'll be on everything. You check nothing, and then you click the ones you want. So maybe you want terrain, maybe you want players, or. You want regardless, right? Uh, in this case, since we're um, transporting it, essentially we're going to select where you hit, so you don't really want to make players, otherwise that will muck things up. So you just want literally just ground. But maybe you got your ground change something else. Now this is very important that you do this get set thing. Um, this get set does mean that it doesn't show up in the serializable, um, and the like doesn't show up in the inspector. There is is a slight problem, but it's not too bad because we're not really caring about it. But it does mean that um, we can actually set it using other applications, um, aka the event system. So the event system can grab this and set this, um, which means it's a little bit easier that way. Uh, otherwise, you can't actually set boobines. Start functions, obviously not needed here. Uh, I guess you could start to maybe change the thing on the player. Doesn't really matter. Update. If your mouse has entered, so this mouse has entered to say if your mouse has entered the map, and this is where this bit comes in. So I I haven't explained this. Here we go. Um, so trying to get. See this bit here? Yeah, I've got one way around. There we go. That's the UI. Um, so this is where the map is. As it's not really perfect, but it's it's good enough. So if our mouse has entered this thing. It's gonna turn on a little variable saying how a mouse has entered a UI element. Um, this specific one. Turn on mouse entered, turn off mouse entered. So to do this, you just click, um, just type, I'll just set up with you, why not? Um, move, go, event, trigger. And the event type, and you go, hey, your pointer has entered and your pointer has exited. When your pointer enters, we wanna grab our plane and we wanna say, hey, plane. Your mouse has entered. When our thing is exited, and we just click the say we've entered, we do the exact same thing, but we we'll see we don't click it. So that's it. Um, and that does all that. So click on, click off. So if our mouse has entered, this is every second it checks if our mouse has entered. If it has, then it checks if we've pressed our button, our left click. If we have pressed our left click, that means that we must have left clicked. We, without a doubt, we have to have left clicked in the um, UI element. I mean, we must have left clicked on map. We found out there's no way it could have happened. Um, if your camera is locked to your character, even if you're if you click someone, it will instantly move back. So don't worry about that. It, it could cause a bit of weirdness, but I guess I could turn off the block, like the lock or whatever. But it's that's just features, right? And could even check if you're locked. So we get a hit, which essentially say where we've hit our map. We're just transforming variables right now. And we say array is from our current screen point to array. 
um, and it's give us a position for my screen printer array. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're going to do a rate cast from here for our current screen point, where we where our mass is on the screen point. We're gonna call a rate cast, and we're just gonna kind of see where mass is. We're just gonna kind of call, call it like little rays, infinite rays. And then we're going to be hitting only the ground. And then we're going to get the mass, the minimap position. Um, and such so as this is literally just going to be our minimap position where where we've just clicked. And then we're going to go our center view, which uh, we're going to open a second. Yep. And then the camera view. See all this stuff here is essentially just uh, the same what we've done here. There's no difference, but what we'd see is we're doing the exact same way, but we're doing a viewpoint. So it's we're kind of giving it a position or viewpoint. So right now here we're saying hey we're giving our input our mass position and we're asking get the screen point turn into an array. Here we're doing the same thing, but here we're giving it a viewpoint from the center of the main camera. So this is essentially 0 0.5 and 0 is the left, 1 is the right, and 0 is the bot, 1 is the top. So essentially that's what we're doing. We're doing right in the center, and then we're going to do ray casts out from that. Obviously the same thing. And then um, we say that our point that we hit is this, I guess, yeah, point where we hit. It's pretty easy. Um, is our, our our center of our screen, and then we essentially we want, we want to calculate a change to move from our current position to our new minimap. So we're going to get well our destination position that we want to go to is where our minimap is right where where we want to click minus our current position. So essentially we're going well we want to move to x three y one. Right now we're at x0, y0, so essentially uh, we'll say x1, y1, right? So we want to move two across on the x-axis and nothing on the y-axis. So we'd get 2. We'd get 2, 0, 0, because this is x3. And then here we're saying y is equal to 0, or in this case it's oz, right? So essentially we're saying, so our height will always stay the same. Massive, this is one of the best things about this code. Um, and then essentially we're just going to plot our composition. I mean, you could just equal it to whatever, but this just means that it just it's really nice. Um, and then our transfer position, we're just basically going to say, hey, move the little box thing, the little um, what do everyone call this, this thing, <laughs> yeah, move this um to our map holder position, and then move the position up fifty. So essentially we're just saying the y position up fifty. So I know you could probably make this one, but it's just nice to do it this way. Um, yeah, it's pretty easy. There's no difference. It'll always carry around your map. Um, 11, 11, 11 is pretty good. I think that's basically it for the episode. I think there's nothing else to cover. It's pretty cool. Um, I'm sorry it's been really slow with episodes. Um, I am releasing a bunch of new episodes. I haven't started recording them yet. I'm going to record this one. But there will be one not tomorrow, but the day after. And then there'll be just for the rest of the week, basically. So I'm going to be shoving these things out like Christmas and hoping that they mix up for it. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do next, which is kind of the problem. I think I was going to do networking, but I don't know if I'm uh, mind well enough to do networking right now because my mind hurts, would hurt massively. But I'll see. I'll see how I had networking is. Maybe we can just start off with saying simple and then go to something more complex. But I'm um, sorry, guys, that's been a bit slow and stuff. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. And if you do, I'll leave a like or stuff because it would really help bring back the series a bit because I've been pushed back a bit because I've been quite sick recently. Anyway, see you guys next time.